Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to talk about uh, photography of a beer bottle. Okay, how about like just taking a picture of this beautiful beer bottle? It's a, it's a lovely day outside. Uh, it's spring here in Chicago, and I think it's wonderful. So let's just uh, let's let's see what we can do with a simple beer bottle. It's it's right over here actually. Not that we haven't seen this before. Um, what I'll do is. I'll take a few pictures of this. This is right out of the fridge, okay? And um, let, let's see what we can do. If you, if you look around, the sunlight is pretty good. It's 5.30 in the evening. It's, uh, it's May, mid-May. So the sun's pretty strong right now. I see the, the sky. The sky is pretty blue, right? So what I like about the sky is that I like how this color is going to contrast with the sky okay uh, once we start getting into the flash okay now let me just pan out so you can take a look at what's going on around here okay uh, just so you know I'm, I'm recording my sound on this right here hello one two three do you read me see there you go my mic doesn't work I, I bought one off of Amazon both of them do not give any sound output so I'm just gonna have to hold it like this you know it kind of looks cool sometimes anyways let's take a look what's going on over here okay so just see this look at that so it's kind of overexposed obviously I'm gonna up the aperture okay and look at that look at that look at the sky okay so what I have here is uh, my Nikon this is an old Nikon as I've mentioned before in another video right Please see all my videos well smash the like button and subscribe too um, there's a plane on final approach to O'Hare right there anyway so this is my D40 okay and as you can see this has a lens which is a wide angle this is a Sigma 1020 mm okay um, I like to stay closer to the 10 mm and one thing about this Nikon D40, a good thing is that uh, you can, for, 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 la for lack of better terms, you can abuse the shutter speed. Let me explain that. When you take pictures of uh, anything with a shutter speed of greater than 250, the flash uh, external flash now when I say external flash let me show you what I have over here so this is my right here so this is my external flash right okay so whenever you take a picture what happens is that uh, <clears throat> it has to sync with the camera anything above 250 and the shutter speed of 1 2 50th of a second does not sync very well with the flash point on general cameras but the D40 can do that. It can sync even a thousand or thousand plus uh, shutter speed or one thousandth of a second. It syncs without losing any, um, without getting a black band or messing up the picture. So that's all I can say. You can research that. It's not important. Just want to let you know. Let's start taking pictures now. Okay. Here's how I set it up. So here's my simple setup that I have done. I have uh, put a, uh, a tub on the floor right here on the driveway. And then I have this flash. What's important to note here is that uh, these are in the opposite direction of the sun. What I want to happen, what I want to happen is that the sun should penetrate the bottle and we should get you know a pretty good amber color after that. So let's take a look at this. So look at that right here okay so keep in mind that my camera is connected wirelessly to my flash okay so here's the transmitter right here and here is the receiver okay it's all wired it's hooked in if I just press this, it's the flash is going to go off. Let's let's try. It didn't happen, did it? Right? 
Well, I think uh, it's important to put the power on. Never mind. Okay, so let's try. Okay, let's try this. So do you see that? Uh, that's my flash going off. Now what I want is, I want, um, what I'll do is I'm gonna take some pictures with the sun, okay? Without the flash first. So let's go ahead with that. And I'm gonna shut this power out. Let's take a picture. Okay. Okay, it's completely, this is completely, uh, this fade out basically. It's completely overexposed, okay? So let's see what I can do. Okay, so I'm back over here again. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this for a, uh, let's go, I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna go up to about uh, 2000 with a 4.5, F4.5 and shutter speed one two thousandth of a second. Let's go, one, two, three, go. Uh, it's average, not the best. Let's try again, okay, okay. Well, as you can see, it's not the best. I need some more, I need some more oomph into it, okay? Oomph, there you go. Let's try again, let's go to one, two, let's see, one thousand, one thousandth of a second, 4.5 F, let's go, boom. Okay, what did we get? Little extra overexposure on the outside. This is obviously uh, not the best combination. What I would like to do is, okay. So now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the sun to light the front, do the fill part of it. I'm gonna crank up this. I'm gonna crank it up, shutter speed, uh, aperture so that it's, it's really tight only the flash will be able to light it up now I'm gonna go ahead and put the flash on ready flash is pointed down once again i do not use diffuser i like it this way do what you like there's no hard and fast rule just be creative now what i'm doing over here is i am lighting up the background i want the amber color of this corona beautiful bottle to come through using the flash and because everything is cranked up uh, the the aperture the shutter speed uh, the sun will only provide the fill light for the front okay so let's go one two and three oh i'm blocking it. am i not or am i okay you know what let's let's see what the settings are it is okay one two thousandth of a second shutter speed 4.5 is the aperture let's let's go one two three go I don't want to look into the light. That's why I'm just turning my face away. Okay, let's try again. 2000 is pretty bad. It's coming a little dark. So I'm gonna go ahead with 1200. If you see, I'm trying to get away from uh, from this light. Check it out. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, so now I'm gonna sit down over here, okay? So we have a good bunch of airplanes flying over there. I like it. So let's let's go ahead. Let's shoot with 800 shutter speed. One eight hundred of a second. 4.5 is the aperture. Let's make it five. I'm sorry. Let's five is the aperture. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three. Uh, if you notice the angle, I'm not directly opposed to the flash that helps my camera not to white out okay one two three go okay a lot of light from one side so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna crank it up to uh 1000 again i'm gonna go take another one okay let's try and get it over here okay how about over here because i i, I need some of this part look at that the only thing is it's not straight uh, at this point I'm just testing the waters I, I'm not really looking for symmetry but I should actually right so let's try and doing that what goes well with a beer beer bottle okay let's see maybe a uh, bottle of ice water yeah uh, the reason I want to put this in is because I want to show the ice and how the flash goes through the ice 
hopefully makes it look better uh, just to give you an idea so uh, let's put this in in fact I'm gonna put in some sparkling water in here how about that so that I get some bubbles okay all right so back to business I'm gonna move around my flash a little okay okay let's try Two, three. Okay. okay, so position it over here. Okay. Keep going. Uh, no. Okay, okay, so I hope you liked the video. Uh, the idea for this video was to get you started thinking in that direction. This is not a perfect photography lesson. You need to see what fits you, your needs. Do you really want to carry a lot of equipment around? Do you want to uh, play around with stuff? Do you want to just take a picture? Uh, I look at this as a starting point for you to go ahead, experiment, uh, take a look at what fits you best and, and come up with something more creative. This is this is nothing You have the creative spirit in you. That's why you're watching this video. So subscribe and like and thanks a lot Yo, bye. Peace out